Hello everyone, my name is Belkis. You're welcome to this lovely channel. If this is your first time of checking out this channel, just make sure you subscribe, tell your friends about it. Today's tutorial will be on how to make this tulip sleeve. Can you see that? So beautiful. So you can decide anywhere you want it to face. Like this is the front panel, you will see. This goes inward more. So this is for the back. So that means it is facing the front panel, but you can also decide to make it face the other way around. That totally depends on you. So I'm going to be making a tutorial on in two ways. Directly on the pattern and also on the fabric. So because sometimes I'm always in a hurry, I just want to get it over done with. So first let us go with the pattern. So this is what we have. So that means you will cut this out and then place on your fabric. So let me just put this aside. This was a quick one for you to understand the concept. That was why I made this. Can you see that? So now, what you will do now is to get your two basic pattern looking alike. Can you see that? This is the right side. This is the right side. Unlike when you are cutting both the front and back together and the right side has to face each other. So it has to be the same. Can you see that? It has to be the same. So what I'll do now is, let's work with one. So this is the midpoint. Let me just note this part. So that's the midpoint. So opening it up now, this is the front panel, back, armhole rather. So this is the back, this is the front. Can you see that? So if you want it to just be exactly like this, that means you will be cutting through from here, the front arm hole. But if you want it facing the other way around, that means you have to start cutting it through the back arm hole. So this is what I have now. Can you see that? So what you have to do now is to just do what? Get the midpoint from here down to here. You could just highball it or you could measure it. But looking at it, where it goes in the part, that is the midpoint. Can you see that? After doing that, all I have to do now is to curve it down to this part, somewhere around here. Can you see that? So I can use my hand hold, or you could just use a free hand. So this is what I will do. Can you see that? You could use your free hand. So can you see what I have? It might not be straight, but... And you see that so this is what we will be cutting through you can adjust it however you want it so i think i'm okay now so the next thing now is to cut all through so instead of cutting it one by one here also i have to note this is the front this is the front this is the back so in cutting it out now what i will do is this this is the right side, this is the right side. I'll just make it face each other. Can you see that? Make sure everything matches. Can you see this is deeper, that is normal. Can you see that? So the next thing for me now is to cut it through. This will be off. Then we can. Can you see that was pretty easy? So this is the midpoint. This matches. Can you see that? So all you have to do is to place each on your fabric and then cut it out. You could always trim off these sharp edges. Can you see that? That was pretty easy. So now, in case you don't want to go through this stress of, you know, adding some allowance when placing on your fabric, like I always do, so now we'll go to the main fabric now. So I just want to cut directly on both. So what you will do now is, I'm using two contra uh, contrasting colors, just for you to understand more. So now, I have both being folded on the right side, this is at the right side. Of the fabric this is the wrong side as I've said when cutting out the pattern it has to be alike can you see so it has to be alike so now when you are drafting it has to be on each other this way unlike when it faces each other when you want to cut 
both left and right sleeve together but this just for one sleeve you will cut the same the same pattern for one so having done that now i've only cut the back ham hole so to cut the front ham hole right now i've trimmed up the front ham hole when you want to trim up the front ham hole remember this is the right side right side they have to be the same so this is the wrong side so let me fold it over again so what you will do is this make sure it's not facing each other all you have to do is to do it this way this is the wrong side so the wrong side of this on the right side of this can you see that then you trim up the front ammo please do not make that mistake so now folding it back so this is what i have so let me just work with this then i will use this to cut this out so let me get my chalk then i will have to open it up so like i said when cutting out the pattern you need to get the distance from here to here i already had it all my seam allowance yeah a very important note now when you are drafting directly on your fabric make sure all allowance has been added you can see i added my side seam allowance to this then the lower one has been added also and then if you had to the edge of your fabric make sure you do that please you don't want to make that mistake so after doing that then the distance from here just get the midpoint and me looking at this because i drafted directly on the fabric this is the midpoint but remember you will need hemming allowance for for sewing it in looking at this can you see the way i did mine i had to sew this in you have to finish the raw edges so what i'll do now is to add quarter of an inch or half an inch depending on the seam allowance you want on your pattern so now i'll just start from here so this will be what i'll be taking in so what i did here was that i used my overlocking machine to just make some stitch then i folded it in so now after doing that i have to make the cuff to come somewhere around here you see that how curvy you want totally depends on you you could even come upward and then have something like this that totally depends on your preference so having done this now instead of cutting this ones before cutting that so all i have to do is this and you see so this is the right side this is the right side so they have to be facing each other just like we did for the pattern make sure everything matches You see that then grab my scissors and that is it this goes off and we have two of this so after hemming you get back to the midpoint and you see that so now looking at this so this is the midpoint this is also the mid midpoint how did i know that because of the crease but if you want to guide against that before cutting it out but i already know the middle of mine just place it this way and then notch you can still do that so that when you are sewing it will be easier for you so looking at it we are done can't you see so beautiful yes i had to use different colors for you to understand whatever you want so if you want it to go inward you could always trim it but i believe it is nice like this that is it on that a little tips on sewing this do you know what i will do just like i did for this particular sleeve what i'll do now is to take to my overlocking machine and then just tape this in from here can you see that let me show you so well from here down here then also the red one here and from here you can see this is the front panel because this goes in deeper you still maintain that so I'll just do that and then show you how it looks right now I've done that this is what it looks like can you see then I use my pressing iron to just fold it in so the next thing now is to take to the sewing machine and just sew this up the same thing I did to this very one can you see that so by the time I turn it to the right side, this is what it looks like. You see this? 
very 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 easy can you see that so now i'll take to the sewing machine again and sew from here can you see just the basin stitch please because you are still going to attach it to your main dress or your top whatever so then i'll sew from this edge down to this edge just to keep it intact like this And we are done. Can you see the stitch? Can you see that? So looking at it, everything is intact. So that is just it on how to make a tulip sleeve or a petal sleeve. If my tutorial has been helpful, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. I remain your girl, The Keys. Follow me on Instagram, The Keys Signatures. And our Facebook sewing group is Sewing Innovations. Bye for now. Love you.